<laughs> okay, welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. Today we're doing a tie rod on my 06 Ford Freestar. Now if you look here on the sides of the wheels, we have these wheel covers. <laughs> these are not your lug nuts. These hold on your wheel covers. So, take these off first. Okay, they won't come all the way out. They uh, are kind of locked in place. So take those out first. Lo and behold, there's your nuts. Fine. So, I need to get a three quarter inch socket for the impact gun. And before we take this wheel off, I'm going to show you again how we check for this. Okay, if it, you kind of wiggle it, if it wiggles this way, it's your bearing is gone. If it wiggles this way, you can it's a slight mechanical feel. And what happens is this is your tie rod. Okay? Your quite likely your outer tie rod, so that's what I bought. This is what it looks like. Okay. There's a little bit of play in here. So this whole thing shakes back and forth a little bit. So when you're going down the road, that's when you get that uh, shaking feeling in the front end. So we're going to pop off the wheel and start working at this. So, so here's your tie rod right here. <clears throat> so we have to loosen that off. We have to take off this nut down to the bottom. Okay. So before we do that, I'm going to get a little uh, WD-40 and spray that and spray this. And then uh, turn the wheel this way. So I have better access at it. Alright, so we've got to loosen the jam nut. Okay, and we turn that back, bring it back a little bit. We'll mark the location of this tie rod. That way when we screw the next tie rod on, we line it up perfectly, and that way you don't have to do a realignment. So if you get this wrong, what you'll have to do is you'll have to uh, Take it off all again, readjust it a little bit, go down the highway, it's shaking at a buck twenty or something, or a hundred K or eighty K or whatever you're going. Then you'll want to uh, mess around with it a little bit so you don't have to spend six or eight hundred bucks to have somebody do that for uh, a four wheel alignment. So, anyway, so we're going to try to take this off. I've uh, moved it up there with some. Uh, WD-40 and try to pull this apart and we'll see what happens. So you have to pr try to prevent this shaft from turning. Okay. And uh, wish me luck. Oh, wow. Ow, that hurt. But it moves. So I'm just going to continue to turn this I have enough space that I can mark it. Alright, now we're going to take the uh, nut off the bottom here. <laughs> nope, there we go. Hey, that was a lot easier than I expected. <laughs> so, I'll use the ratchet to finish that. kind of funny. Some days you really think, uh, do these guys really know what they're doing? Anyway, in the manual it says use a bearing puller on this. You get one of these little mini sledges, tap her a few times on the bottom, and look at that. Lo and behold, there it is. So, that's it. Okay, so now we'll take this off, and once again, you're going to try not to turn this shaft. Okay, so get something else that will fit over here. I'll try to crank that off because I'm sure that one's nice and tight too. Oops. Okay. Try to hold this one 
study. Okay, there we go. Tie rod is off. Now, you should be able to see the mark. I did mark this with a marker. That looks like these couple of threads here. But I also thought ahead. I said, you know what? If it, I'll use this as, as a spacer. I'll make sure that when the new one comes on that it slides right up against that. And that should be perfect. wasn't this tight. Was it? Huh. Maybe this one's longer than the other one. It might be off just a touch. So that looks about right. So that's a little looser. Turn. I'll turn it one more turn. I'll put it in this way. And we'll hope for the best. Okay. What you want to do is bend this so that it goes through without really marking up your threads too much. Okay. And now See how the boot kind of squeezes it. I may have to put some more grease in that. Huh. What do you know? So, we'll try that. So I'll tighten this up first, and then I'll retighten this. And we'll go for a drive and see how we did.